Welcome back to Elden Ring. In the last episode, we managed to find the Siofra River well, and that allowed us to descend into this area. It has a really unique atmosphere, and everything seems so serene and peaceful. Sort of feel I shouldn't be here. But it's a bit tougher than what we have uh, encountered so far. It's definitely much tougher than Limgrave. So my idea here is this. I'm going to try and fight this uh, annoying crab here. And then retrace my steps back to the platform so we can go back to the Mistwood. No, can we jump? I th no, we can climb. There's the crab. It's guarding something, and I want it. That's a lot of stamina. Oh, come on. Okay. Change of plans. That crap does a lot of damage. We definitely should not be in this area. Let me try to heal. these don't really help. Is it retreating? No, it's not. It's trying to breathe. No. Okay, we got some eggs. That's not what I'm interested in, though. We can't really be fighting uh, these crabs that can kill us in two hits. Oh, there's a smaller one. And we get more eggs. Uh, the, that doesn't make me feel much better. I think we have explored this area previously. So down here we have the ruins and we also have this dam area. I see some herbs and I see some butterflies. I think we have enough of these crafting materials, really. Okay, that one was a... St uh, these are the strange enemies. I have to think of it. 
we did manage to loot a piece of equipment. That was a harpoon, right? So these are claymen. Made from sharpened meteorite shard. Meteorite? Wielded by the claymen who infest dynastic remains. Not sure what that means. We don't have the intelligence for it. However, it has innate magic damage. That means we don't have to infuse it. And then again, I would like a weapon that has a split damage type for some enemies. Um, because when someone is not taking a lot of damage, maybe they just have high physical resistance. It's worth checking out. Uh, we do have the sacred affinity through the Ash of War. Let me try... What can I try? How about the axe? I can try to engage them, but the problem is they just, they don't seem to, seem to be taking a lot of damage. Uh, what I can try is the sacred upgrade. I can see someone up there. Hold on. Are we supposed to do a bit of platforming? I think we can start here, right? That's a centipede. Golden centipede. Something died here. Budding horn. That's a crafting material. Judging from the icon on the upper left. Mushrooms. I wonder what we can make with all these. Interesting. You, you can actually stagger some of these uh, scarabs as well. Try a <laughs> What a helpful message. Oh, there's two enemies here. I don't like that sphere trap uh, maybe it's going to detonate yeah it is I'm guessing that's a lethal fall I have an idea. We can probably use torrent, right? OK. 
can I make some of these fire bombs? I can make a few. I can also make some of the holy water. If they're weak to holy damage, maybe we can use the the sacred blade affinity, Ash of War. They're taking some damage, but... Okay. Uh, change of plans. No, we cannot make... We can summon the wolves. Are they going to revive? Doesn't look like it. No, they just turned into a... bottle? Whatever that is. Throwing daggers. Oh yeah, I remember that one. This was the destroyed statue that we found. Before I jump though, can I find anything else? Time for the telescope. We did pick it up, right? Yes. No, honestly, I think the messages are correct. Uh, would you mind? Okay. In these tight passages, these wolves can become a problem. Where can I jump, though? I'm guessing down here. Yes. There's an item and there's... Uh, does that Scarab has a Nash of War? No, we looted... Pickled Cows. Oracle Bubbles. So that Scarab did have an item. Yeah, we fought them before. Uh, even the wolves are not strong enough to deal with them. So it's time to head back up. Uh, we're going to the Mistwood and continuing on at Limgrave. Might as well pick some of these up. Even if you can't really craft uh, something with these materials, there's always the option to uh, sell them to these nomadic, nomadic travelers, vendors. 
So you get some ruins either way. Someone left a message on that cliff. But how did they get up there? There's definitely more to this area, right? There's no way all these buildings are just... Just background images. And there's the usual Limgrave music. So there's the bear that we defeated before. Still... Still scratching on that tree. Uh, that's enough, uh... Poking bears. Come to think of it, we should get some of these sunflowers. Just in case we need to make more of these uh, pots. Poly... Poly water pots. And there's a new weapon for us. That's a falchion. It's mostly dexterity. No. No, it's not. It scales higher with strength than the hand axe. That's a strange one. Yeah, but worse than the longsword. So it's somewhere in the middle. 13 dexterity, 9 strength. So the description just says it's a curved sword with a single sided blade, deliver slashing attacks. And it has a spinning slash. What does that do? So you just spin and then you spin again. Yeah, that looks good. Can that bear actually catch up to us? I hope not. Okay, uh, never mind that bear. <clears throat> it can catch up to us. This is an annoying boar. Hefty bones. And we're just next to the area where Kenneth Hyde was. Okay, never mind. I uh, had some technical issue, I want to say. I thought the screen froze there for a second. What is left to explore in the Mistwood, though? That's a more important question. Mm 
I remember there was a shack that had a painting in it. So that was to the north. Uh, yeah, I can see it in the distance. Uh, we've been to this area. No, there's an item. We have not been to this area. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ruin fragments. I just realized something. These enemies had turned into trees or bushes. Hold on. When we heard that invisible... In Not sure what to call it. Disembodied voice. Uh, it was somewhere near the telescope. We have to go past the bridge. I can deal with you. No problem. Let's try the falchion. Now that was a miss. And impale. That killed him. Uh, why don't you come over here without your friends? some bolts I don't really care about that now it was somewhere around here right there was a small small bush Oi. yep you you there could you help us out Cully yeah there's messages friend ahead try rolling you? yeah you there stop <laughs> oh. That what dispelled the illusion. He's got a feathered hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave, told not to come back, not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Bok. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. So this is Bok. Demi-human. Oh, these are demi-humans. Maybe we can... Uh, didn't Kenneth Hyde mention something about establishing uh, contact with the demi-humans? Maybe we can send Bok over to him? 
He's definitely friendly. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them, so I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Okay, so he was driven out. Right, but I'll need a moment. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm frightened of them, so I have to gather myself. So I'm guessing he's not gonna be here next time we visit. Let's take on this uh, this other rider. We're not gonna kill the horse. Now I don't have I don't have anything against torrent. But doesn't this horse look a bit more uh, sturdy and robust for combat? Okay, two birds overlooking. I see some fortifications. Oh, there's a wolf. There's one of them that's not riding a horse. Yeah, that wolf is on to us. He's hanging back. He knows. He has no chance on his own. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. He's, he's roaring. That's not a good thing. Just how many of them are in there? Uh, there's a wolf. There's another one. Think of it, I have some wolves as well. Uh, I can't really summon them. We'll drink a flask. So now let's see who's tougher. Yeah, roar all you want. Hey, 
okay, I'm not sure how you live there. Now that's what happens when you get careless here. Is this one asleep? Probably. seem to be doing lots of damage here. There's some herbs, butterflies. We need those butterflies for the... Oh, and an armorer's cookbook. What can I make? Fire grease. Mm, that's gonna add fire damage. I think that's an important find. We need root resin. Uh, where can we find these? Near trees. Okay, let's deal with one of more of these uh, annoying riders. Okay, look, that lightning hit that tree, right? I'm not seeing things. Uh, Also the goat. Her... Hmm? Felgur Bloom. What was that? I don't think I like this area. I see wolves. And to be honest, I'd much rather fight these wolves. Mm, there's a lot of them. Are we going to need Torrent for this? We might be. Wasn't I blocking there? I think that's everyone. Golden Rune. He was hiding here. So what do we have? Mm, let me unequip holy water pot. 
There's mushrooms. We have mushrooms and melted mushrooms. Oh no. Oh, it's these. Mm, no. No. No, 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 no. There's a statue. And bears. Mm, can I make it? Oh, hold on. I didn't see that one. That's another hidden point of grace. From the bloodstains, I'm guessing this is going to kill us. Yeah. Never mind. We're not jumping down there. We can probably access that area from the the lake over here. We're just going to have to follow along. This is Murkwater Coast. And it leads all the way to the sea. Okay, do we have... Uh... What else can we do here? Melida doesn't appear to be up for a chat. Uh, we can mix one more of these uh, crystal tears. We have a grin spill and a spiked. Enhances charge attacks, enhances... No, this boosts stamina. Okay, let's try the stamina tier. Charge attacks, I do use them, but it's more of a situational one. So now we have two effects. And something else is... We do have a bunch of weapons. I do want to try... Uh, where can we add Sacred Blade? The Halberd... The hand axe or the long sword. Let's try the long sword. We also have the bloody, bloody slash. Well, you know what? Let's do the falchion, the blood falchion. So, blood affinity is going to scale with arcane. We really don't have a lot of arcane. So, that's not really a that's not really an option. Then again, it will give you passive blood loss buildup. But also reduce the damage quite a bit. Uh, okay, we're gonna leave the standard affinity and try the bloody slash. And as for the long sword, we're gonna make a sacred one. This will give us holy damage. And it's a good way to gauge if an enemy is just resistant to physical attacks. The hand axe we can leave as it is. Yeah, we can use the quick step. Air seal dagger, this is what we got from the... From the pompous guy. What was his name? Kenneth, Kenneth Height. So this one requires faith. Really? Doesn't deal holy damage, though. Okay, one more item to think about. And I think this is a good time to end the episode. I'm not sure when we're going to be back in the Siofra River. Uh, that area... 
It definitely looks tougher than anything Limgrave has to offer. Maybe after we beat uh, Stormvale Castle, we can explore there. And of course, the area to the east is the one I don't want to go. That's the Scarlet Rot area. But for now, I'm going to say hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. And I'm going to see you in the next one.